Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial where I'm going to be making a LLM MPC with the HTTT GPT plugin. So I'm in the default map, just come up here to plugins and add the HTTP GPT plugin, click yes and then you'll have to restart. If you don't have that then you may need to go to the marketplace and download it, but it's free. So we've got that added up now and I'm just going to go into my content and I'm going to make a new level called this GPT map oh. and I'm going to make a new blueprint just do an actor call this GPT actor so open up the actor first and we'll go over to the event graph and you'll notice that we've got some new nodes. So we can send messages with default options, add that one. And then set common options, add that. And set chat options, add that as well. Then split the struct pin on each of these. And out of event begin play, we're going to set those chat options. You can delete these two. Okay, we're going to use GPT-4. So just select that one. And then that goes into common options. And then just come down here to messages, pull out of there and promote that to a variable. We'll call this chat history. All right. And then drag in your chat history and set it. Then pull out there. And we're going to make, make an array. Add three pins to that. You can pull out again and make again. And here we are going to design the character basically. So the first one is going to be the system. And I'm going to do you are a grumpy or angry assistant duplicate that and this one is going to be the user so this is going to be the first message that we are going to pre-send to chat gpt before the player starts so i'll do you are an angry assistant give me angry responses that's good duplicate that one more time you can delete all this because this is now going to be the reply of the assistant and we're going to say okay fire away and change that to assistant so if we stick those into the array we have organized the first couple of messages that are going to be a sent on event begin play so make sure that's all connected there. Nice. Now we need a custom event so that we can actually talk to the AI. We'll do send message. And then just duplicate that chat history because we are going to add it to our default options. And then pull out of add and make Okay, leave that one as the user and then, but then pull out the content and promote that to a variable. This is going to just be actually leave that as content. That's fine. Okay, so that's all working now, but I'm just going to duplicate these because we're going to also add those again in a moment. But now let's get the response working. So come down here to response, drag out of there and break. Open up this drop down and out of choices, get a copy. And then break that again. And then out of messages, break that one more time. Okay, and we are almost done. So pull out of add and we're going to print a string so we can actually see this in the game 
the content is going to be that out of that break message and then just out of these messages plug that into the ad because we're also going to be adding those here we want another print string and that content is going to go in there and this should be all working now but in order to actually use it in the game come up to send message come to the details and click call in editor then click on content and enable instance editable and expose on spawn all right you can compile and save that now we just need to pop over to i'll, I'll leave a link but open ai's website and you're going to make a key i'll do a new one create a key tutorial make a secret key copy that and then paste that in there okay now we just need to open up our map chuck the gpt actor in there You need to change it. It shouldn't come out of the top. It should come out of process completed. And that should go into the ad. And there you go. We got a response, an angry response. So this can be a bit nicer. You can go to print string, change the duration to five seconds and change the color to pink for one of them and then go over to the other print string and change the duration to five seconds and you can leave the color as it is you can also use these nodes for any debugging so just print a string out of request sent and that can be sent and also progress started can go into that you can duplicate that print string and then out of request failed and error received, we'll do failed. All right, compile that up, hit play. Now you'll see sent. And there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ah. <sighs> you Bye.